Hey there viewers and welcome back to I Can't Stop Myself From Buying Giant Pieces of shit. And uh, today I've got us a 1989 Ford Disaster Piece. So we're gonna get started on making this run again. All right, so much like the other cars I've bought, I've been finding the worst ones available and buying them up because I have a problem with, I don't want things to get crushed out. I'm like the opposite of cash for clunkers. I don't want to crush anything. I want to save everything. And I came across this, which this is actually one of the better saves I've ever got. It's a 1989 Ford F-150. Uh, it's got the 300 straight six, that's 4.9 liters for those of you without flags on the moon. It is an automatic transmission. I don't know which one it is. I wanted to bring you guys along for the entire endeavor, so we're gonna learn things together on this truck. Um, but I'm gonna give you what I know so far. The story is the guy bought this truck new in 1989, and he passed away sometime between 1999 and 2000. Um, I was talking to a distant descendant who gave me this truck for a very affordable price. Um, and it had sat in their field behind their house for a very, 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 it's 2022 for reference. It hasn't moved since 99, 2000. Registration on the plate, as you can see from some of our B-roll here, is 2000. It has not moved. The tires are all DOT pre-1999. This thing is original as it gets. No body damage. I'm super excited about that. I, re I really like these OBS Fords when they're in clean condition before some teenage douchebag puts giant wheels on it and some, you know, smokestacks and all sorts of ridiculousness. I've never been a huge fan of that. In fact, as I'm saying that, somebody with a diesel is dragging a Jake brake. I don't want to be that guy. I want it to look nice, run nice, and be just a nice classic. So we're going to try to do what we can to bring this thing back up to its original condition, get it restored. I got a title for it, and I got um, some keys. I'm convinced this is the door key, because this one turned the ignition to get it off the tow truck but uh, they don't work, so I don't know what's going on there, but um, we'll find out together. So uh, let's get started with some features. All right, let's start with the important bits. Under here, there we go. Okay. I hope that wasn't just a giant rat, um, but there are lots of rat evidence around. That was very scary. Okay. If you look here on the radiator, there's a bunch of rat poop. Um, this is the 300 straight six, I'm very sure of it. Looks like we have the radiator cap delete kit installed. That's nice, or oil cap delete kit, rather. Got a wasp nest on the wiring over there. The steel me switch is still hooked up, so that's good. Um, let's check and see what kind of fluids it has in it. Let's start with the oil. Now, I'm gonna be really careful when I'm reaching for stuff because um, I'm pretty sure I just saw a furry creature over there when I just opened this. I really don't want to get bit or stung or anything like that. Let's bring this in for the camera. What kind of dinosaur juices we got flowing here? Oh yeah. Got the La Brea Tar Pit Special. Nice, nice. Um, not sure what's going on there. If you look down in this engine bay here from some of our B-roll, you'll see that there is a original old school motorcraft filter on this thing. So. That's exciting. I'm sure the oil hasn't been changed since, you know, pterodactyls were flying overhead. Check this out, an old original Motorcraft radiator hose. Look at that. That's amazing. So this thing is literally as original as it gets. All the emissions are still hooked up. Um, in certain counties in Georgia, you do have to pass emissions. This truck did pass emissions a few times before it was parked. So all the emission stuff worked before it was parked. It looks like we've still got the Ford soup can hooked up and the uh, charcoal canister box, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, truck looks like it's optioned with power steering and below it, it looks like air conditioning. So it looks like for options under the hood, we've got quite a lot going on. Let's check the coolant. Well, there is some in there, so that's a really good sign. So she held oil, she held coolant. Coolant actually looks pretty good. Let's try the transmission fluid as I reach through the rat poop infested areas here. Oh yeah. Well, hey, that transmission fluid's pretty clean. That's a good sign right there. 
Now the odometer on this truck reads about 80,000 miles, 79,000 miles, something like that. It was super low. And because of the story I was given, I actually, I do believe that that is legit. Um, and I'm very excited about getting a truck with that low mileage. Um, under here, it definitely confirms it's been sitting for a long time with that ancient motorcraft filter and the uh, original radiator hose on it. I don't think those would have lasted to 180,000 miles, um, although I'm sure the engine will. Uh, these 300 straight sixes, everyone online is a humongous fan of this engine. Um, I have very limited experience with it. The only 300 straight six I've ever played with was a 70s version of the 300 straight six. And I hate carburetors. I just don't have the experience with them to really become passionate about them. I prefer fuel injections. So hopefully this will be the best 300 straight six for me. So, all right, let's go to the interior and see if we got any ancient receipts and maybe we can date this thing a little bit more accurately than just the story and the plate and see uh, some more information there. All right, so now we're in the crispy interior here. Got some motorcraft parts, so that's a good sign. And I think my apprentice threw these in here. Uh, I don't want any spiders or anything on me. I'm gonna get butt cancer right now. Oh! All right, so I've got a new oil cap because that one out there has been deleted on. And yeah, let's try to go through and date this. Well, there's a stick. Um, I think it's a prehistoric stick. See here, a reconditioned something for $104 from June of 02. So that's a clue. Something was being done in June of 02. Let's get a close up of that. Nice. We'll put that up there. Got an AC Delco made in USA connector replacement pack um, from 1995. So there's our. 1995 date there. All Star, looks like somebody did some more connector repair on this toilet. Um, for cash, for $7. And the date is 2001. So maybe it's only been sitting for 20 years. Because there's lots of stuff from 0102 in here. Uh, piece of trim. Hey, there's our mirror. That's awesome. So I guess we can put that back on at some point. Well, cool. I've got keys. It looks like it's been sitting for 20 years. Let's put a battery in it now that we know it's got fluids and see if it'll turn over. That'll be exciting. All right, so I've just installed the battery off screen because uh, that's boring. It's much more interesting to read you receipts from the 90s. Um, so we've got it hooked up. We didn't really have any spark happening when I did that. Uh, I know the battery is good. I just had it on the charger overnight to make sure this video wasn't gonna be a complete flop. So, um, we're gonna see if we got some spinach, if the dash comes alive. Really, we're just gonna see what happens. Let's have a gander. Oh, I got dash noises. Not enough beans. All right, let's come adjust on the battery terminals with the Adjust-O-Matic 5000. Let's try that. I command the spirit of this machine. Start. Who the hell needs tools? You know, like, I have to walk to go get those. Got my scrap trailer sitting here. That's much better. All right, let's see if that'll start. All right, I command thee, start. Well, that didn't work, did it? Come on. Junk. Why is everything a piece of junk that I buy? Come on. Gotta just get it in just the right spottage. I almost hear it sizzling. All right, let's get a jump box. All right, so I'm done asking. This thing's being a piece of shit. So I'm getting increasingly angry that it won't even turn over. 
So I'm gonna do the right thing and just go straight to nuclear mode. Not even fool around with these connections whatsoever. Oh yeah. Well, now how do I get you to stay here? Stay. That should be good. You tell there's a lot of connection issues in this toilet? Turning over pretty good. I mean, that actually sounded pretty healthy. So, uh, that was good. So, lesson to be learned out of this is that uh, if it doesn't work, just keep fiddling with it and eventually connections start to work again. So, now I think we need to give it spray spray because it sounds like it doesn't have any fuel. And that would make sense after sitting for that many years. So I'm gonna need the cameraman's assistance, so stand by. All right, so what we're trying to do now, viewers, is uh, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the uh, starting fluid into the intake while our cameraman is giving her the cranky crank. Will she crank? Go, yep. It's the square one. Put on the gas. Not a fuel problem. Won't run on the spray spray. You want to try it again? Go ahead. I'm not going to spray anymore though. I don't want a big fireball in the face. Come on, you try hard. That's done. All right, so this truck sucks is basically what we can determine. Woo, that's hot. All right, welcome back. It's been about a day. Uh, we've been uh, kind of postponing on this truck because, you know, it's mine. It doesn't really pay my bills that well, being that I'm putting money into it and not earning anything off of it yet. But um, we're gonna get started on just trying to clean out the bed of this truck real quick. We're gonna put air in the tire, see what'll hold air, see if we can get it to roll at least, since we can't get it to start right now. I'm gonna go ahead and order two new gas tanks and fuel pumps for this, because I'm sure the ethanol gas is eating away at everything inside there. And uh, we'll get back to that later. But for now, we're at least gonna make the truck look as good as it can. And maybe we'll find something interesting in this bed. There appears to be some trees and bushes growing, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. Anyway, so um, I think this match is right here. Oh. Did you just get poopy? Yeah. All right, so we've made a lot of good progress on the truck. We've done the uh, disgusting dumpster delete on the uh, back of bed here. Um, we've also aired up the two front tires. They'll hold air. It doesn't appear like the back one will. And I uh, love when the people with the loud exhaust come by when I'm trying to film, isn't that fantastic? Um, from here, I'm gonna order two new gas tanks and fuel pumps. I'm also gonna order a distributor because I feel like there's not a spark on time happening. So we're gonna replace that in both fuel tanks, both fuel pumps and um, we'll see where we're at then. I don't just wanna throw a bunch of parts at this truck. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and change the oil because the oil in there smells really gassy now, but it smells like an old varnished gas. So I'm pretty sure I know what's happened. It probably lost spark, they parked it, and now because of the ethanol, the fuel pumps are dead. Or they're not and they're just full of you know varnishy gas. I'm just gonna replace them. I'm gonna take these tanks down. They're gonna be old. Um, that's all we got for you today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other restoration videos we've done where we've brought some old turds back to life. And uh, be sure to wait for the next episode on this F-150. We'll see you next time.